Hello everyone, my name is Noman Khan and I'm the Solution Architect at DVCom Technology. Today's video, I will show you the live integration between Yastar P-Series and Microsoft Teams. So let's begin. Using the Yastar Web Console, I log into my extension that is 408. And once I logged in, I will show you the call flow that will go from Yastar to Microsoft Teams. And once we receive on Microsoft Teams, we will reroute it and we'll play a few things just to make this interesting. So first thing first, if, uh, if you see my call control and I have an outbound routes and this outbound routes to Microsoft Teams, 3131. So this is just a fake number or uh, just a uh, a number internal number that we try to manipulate and use as a direct routing and inside Microsoft Teams. It can be anything. The whole idea, the whole scenario is like using Yastar with Microsoft Teams. It offered two scenarios. First things, it can also act as on uh, on-prem PBX as a standby. So let's say for some reason your direct routing or you are facing some internet outage and you'll not be able to make call then if you're having yasta p series on prem it can act as a failover to the microsoft teams right and this also give you the ability to have common area phones so with microsoft teams you have to have a phone system license assigned to each user so in a situation where you do want to save some costs on licensing uh, let's say the common area phone on the receptions and conference rooms, right? You can use the P-Series extensions rather than uh, the team users there. Uh, in fact, and team user also offers you the common area phone licenses. It got a separate licenses and all, but just one deployment scenario. And one more thing, we are using a certified SBC. So it is not using any Teams plugin, right? Uh, it is not per users or per extension. It is only depending on the number of concurrent sessions between Yastar and Microsoft Teams, right? So having said that, we have an outbound route to 3131, which is, you know, which will go to the PBX, uh, sorry, which will go straight to the uh, a certified SBC and then from there it will connect to the Microsoft team now coming to the Microsoft team side you can see we have a Yasa PBX and this is 3131 okay uh, this 3131 which you know uh, as an outbound DID and Yasta will be received here and once we have this number we will route it to some auto attendant and then the queuing system and Microsoft team just to show you a complete try to, you know, like a complete phone system. So this is assigned to main IVR actually. And if you go to the main IVR or the auto attendant and Microsoft teams, this is what it is. Click on this and you'll be able to see this number and all the settings related to the ivr so this is the call flow like when the call comes we will have this greetings right and once we have these greetings we'll also have the you know if we say sales text to speech Microsoft Teams phone system is very advanced. It offers you text to speech, speech recognitions, all within one license. So you have, you know, sales, and then we have a sales queue, right? So inside a sales queue, we have a Microsoft Team user assigned that are receiving calls, right? So in a kind of, I set up the customer care or uh, call center scenarios here. So good enough, uh, let's do the demo. Now I'll go back and I'll dial 3131. So during a demo, I wouldn't speak because Microsoft Teams, you know, will receive the input as speech recognition. Uh, but uh, just I want to show you the flow and let's start. 3131, 
Let me call Zain. Welcome to Microsoft Teams Direct Routing Demo at DBCom Technology. To speak to our sales team, please say sales or to get our technical support, say support. To listen again these options, say repeat. To listen to sales. I think you said sales. Is that correct? Say yes or no. Option yes. Yes. Now you can see the live call here. This is the Microsoft Teams call that land into the Microsoft Teams. So I have an echo because the call is connected to the Microsoft team. So good enough. So things are working. Let me disconnect. Yes. So once you have this thing, you can see inside Microsoft Teams client. This is Microsoft Teams client. You can also make an outgoing call or you can call to any landline number, UE numbers, or phone numbers, or mobile numbers, etc. So I hope you like this demo. If you have any question, anything, do let us know and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you so much for watching this.